Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I bring my unboxing and review of Dragon Slayer on 4K and digital. Dragon Slayer was provided to me for review by Paramount Pictures. Now, this does have a foil finish to it, I believe. It's a little bit dull, but I believe that's a foil finish. Uh, here's a look at the spine. It does have the Paramount Pictures logo from the top corner. An essential fantasy adventure with groundbreaking Oscar-nominated visual effects, Dragon Slayer comes to 4K Ultra HD, restored for exceptional picture and sound and approved by director Matthew Robbins. Set in 6th century England, an ill-tempered, fire-breathing creature, ominously known as Vermithrax Pejorative, terrorizes its citizens until a young sorcerer's apprentice named Galen is reluctantly tasked with confronting the beast. For Galen to succeed, it will take more than magic to defeat the dragon. All new special features, commentary by director Matthew Robbins and Guillermo del Toro, screen tests in HD, the Slayer of All Dragons in HD, and also includes original theatrical trailer in HD. We do get a few images there. This one is rated PG. It does have a runtime of 109 minutes. It does include both Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. Uh, audio includes English Dolby Atmos, French Mono Dolby Digital, and subtitles of English, English SDH, and French. Well, let's check out the inside. We get just a plain black disc. All right, I finally got around to watching Dragon Slayer. It had been sitting around for a bit, but I finally watched it. Now, this isn't a movie I had ever seen before, and I'm not really the biggest fan of fantasy movies, so I wasn't expecting a lot going into this, but I am always willing to check out pretty much anything. Now, in this one, there is a dragon that kind of has a hold on this community in that uh, the king has made a deal with the dragon that they would sacrifice, I believe it was two virgins a year to it, and it wouldn't kill the people other than that, and it wouldn't burn the crops or burn their houses or anything, and just leave them alone as long as they sacrifice two virgins. Now, obviously, the people aren't super happy about this. I mean, the alternative, possibly everybody killed, isn't great, but they decide they want to fight the dragon, so they go looking for, I believe it was a sorcerer, to fight the dragon. And they get to the dragon's lair or the cave or whatever, and the guy like makes like a rock, all the rocks fall down in front of the doorway, and they believe they trap the dragon and they're fine. But surprise, surprise, the dragon escapes. And so now they need to sacrifice another virgin to the dragon. And so to make these sacrifices fair, the king has created this lottery where all the virgins' names will go into a container, and somebody will pull out the name, and that was the person. Uh, they would sacrifice, but they find out the king hasn't necessarily been honest about the lottery and some people's names weren't being put in the lottery. And obviously this causes a lot of drama. So then this main guy, he is given the dragon slayer, which is basically like this long spear that has magic in it or something that can defeat the dragon. But they add more magic to it, I think, I think is what they were doing. So he goes and fights the dragon. And I was a little confused because you see him like fighting the dragon. And then you see like he has this like shield up over him. And there's like fire coming down on him from the dragon. And the next thing you see, he's like out in the open unconscious. And the dragon's gone. <laughs> I was like, what even happened? What happened there? Shouldn't we see what happened? <laughs> But basically, he didn't beat the dragon, and so uh, another, I guess, sorcerer or whatever has to help him fight the dragon. <laughs> and there's a lot of really strange uh, things going on in this movie, and as I said, I'm not a really big fan of fantasy movies, so this movie just didn't have a lot for me in it. If you are a fan of fantasies, I don't see why you wouldn't enjoy this one. The 4K quality... Well, it didn't blow me away most of the time. There were definitely some really great scenes that looked amazing, uh, especially some of the scenes with the dragon and some of the scenes with fire. They did blow me away. And I was like, wow, that looks really good. For the most part, the movie does look good, but it is a dark movie. Um, and so it, you don't really get a lot of that great pop, but it does look really good and clear for a darker movie. Now, I believe it's about the last scene. It's like daylight outside, and things did look pretty good in that scene. So I feel like it is a good 4K transfer, but probably not like going to be one of your favorite uh, looking movies. So 
as I've already said, I'm not a huge fan of the fantasy genre. So I'm going to give this one a two and a half out of five. There are just lots of parts where I was getting bored. I didn't really feel like there was a lot of interesting stuff going on. Uh, but I hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for our videos, to the chess videos, and I'll see you guys next time.